Spanish people, it's Brittany, and today I am bringing you my August book haul. In the month of August, I got 17 books. That is a lot of books. I divided this into three categories. First is the books I got online. Second is the books I got at Half Price Books. And third is the books that I got at Barnes & Noble during their blowout sale. I am going to start with the books that I got online. The first set of books I got are the continuation of the Darkest Minds trilogy. Never Fade, In the Afterlight, and the novella bind-up of Through the Dark. Never Fade picks up where we left Ruby last during The Darkest Minds, which that ending crushed me. I'm still not recovered. I think that's why I haven't picked this book up yet. I just know it's going to be emotional torture, but I will get to it this month. We see Ruby in a new situation and split up from the gang. This follows Ruby as she is on a hunt for information about the disease that wiped out most of the kids in America. In the Afterlight follows Never Fade, and this is the conclusion to the trilogy. Through the Dark is a novella bind-up of three novellas, In Time, Sparks Rise, and Beyond the Night. These novellas are supposed to be read in between each of the books. So the first novella is between The Darkest Minds and Never Fade, and the second novella is between Never Fade and in the afterlight and then the last novella is read after you have finished the trilogy if you've never heard of the darkest minds i'm sorry for you i am you should go pick them up they're really good the darkest minds follows ruby after a sickness wipes out most of the kids in the united states and those who survive get powers then we watch ruby as she tries to find a safe haven called east river but not everything is as it seems the next book i got online is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. I don't know a tremendous amount about this book. Here's what I do know. Mia, assassin and training, magic, talking cat, revenge. That's what I know. It is a really popular book that a lot of people gush over. This is a fantasy series with two books out now and the third book coming out next year. Katrina at the Little Book Owl and Pierre at Pierre Ford are both doing read-alongs for this book and God's Grave in the months of September and October. The next trilogy I got online is the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. The first book is called Mistborn or The Final Empire. The second book is called Well of Ascension and the third book is called Hero of Ages. I don't know a lot about these books other than they're high fantasy and a lot of people love them, including my husband. I know that it follows Kel and Ben as our main characters as we watch them struggle with the way things are in the world right now. They are trying to plan an uprising with the lower class to overthrow the Dark Ruler. The second trilogy takes place in the same world, not following the same characters though, but it is thousand-ish years, give or take a few hundred, after this first trilogy. And there is, I think, one or two novellas involved in this series. So those are the books that I got online. Now I'm going to show you the books I got during the Barnes and Noble book blowout sale. The first book I got was already on clearance. It wasn't actually a part of the 50% off sale, but it's what you, it was such a good deal that I had to get it. And this is Island of Glass by Nora Roberts. This is the third book in the Guardians trilogy. I already have the first one and I saw this one for a really good price, so I went ahead and got it. I need to get the second one. The first book is called Stars of Fortune, and this follows six characters who all somehow meet in Corfu, Greece. They are called there one way or another, and they are all in search of the three stars that three goddesses blessed, and then they fell to the earth, and they are in a race against an evil goddess trying to claim the blessed stars for herself. The six guardians are trying to get the three blessed stars and take them back to the three goddesses that blessed them in the first place. This is such a fun and awesome series and I listened to them on audiobook and so I wanted to get them for myself in person so I went ahead and got the third book and now I just need the second book. The next two books that I got at Barnes & Noble actually were on their 50% off book blowout sale. The first one being Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake. This is about three sisters who are supposed to battle it out for the throne. Only one can take it and the other two have to die. One sister is a elemental, one sister is a naturalist, and one sister is a poisoner. Currently three books are out, Three Dark Crowns, One Dark Throne, 
and Two Dark Rains. Two Dark Rains being the most recent book that just came out. There are also two novellas go that go along with this series. I don't know if the, it's a trilogy or a series, but this is supposed to be really good. The first book is supposed to be a little bit slow. The second book picks it up. I have had my eye on this series for a while, and so when I found it on the 50% off sale, I was very excited and went ahead and got it. I also got Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. This book just came out recently, and I am so excited that it was 50% off. Elin has been raised to be a fighter, and her clan is in constant battle with the rival Riki clan. Until one day on the battlefield, she sees her brother fighting for the other clan. Her brother, who she watched die. She then has to survive in the Riki clan until the Riki clan is ransacked by a legendary clan that no one thought existed. Now Elin and a boy from the Riki clan must unite the two clans before they all die. I am so excited for this Viking story. The next books I got are from Half Price Books. The first one I got is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I have already read this book on audiobook. And if you've never heard of the Immortal Instruments, where have you been? Have you been living under a rock? Probably. Okay. Well, let me inform you. When Clary turns 16, weird things start happening. She goes to a nightclub with her friend Simon and witnesses a murder. A murder no one else saw. And then, later, her mom disappears was kidnapped. Now Clary must find out who she truly is and team up with the people she met at the nightclub to find her mom. And this is a six book series with two other companion series in that take place in the Shadowhunter world. Next up I got Saga Volume 2 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. This is a graphic novel that follows are two main characters who are star-crossed lovers from two different planets. They got married and had a baby, and now they are being hunted down by both of their planets. They are on the run and fighting every day for their lives. This artwork is gorgeous. This story is amazing, but this is an adult graphic novel. It deals with adult content, such as sex and violence and gore. So I will put a content warning for those. The next book I got is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. This is a magical realism story that follows a whole generation of Ava's family. Ava is a normal girl born with wings. No one questions this, she's just born with wings. But Ava decides to delve into her family's past. I have heard that there are topics such as abuse and rape in this book, so put a content warning there. This is supposed to be a beautiful story about what it means to be a family and what it means to be human. The next book I got is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I want to read some more classics, and I thought that this would be a perfect October read. This story is great for Halloween, all about Dr. Frankenstein creating life on a surgical table. The next book I got, I think, is one of my most exciting purchases of the month. This is something that I have been wanting not only to read for a really long time, but own for a really long time. So I am excited that I got a copy of it. And this is The Complete Grim Fairy Tales by the Grimm Brothers. I feel like I don't need to have a synopsis, but if you don't know some of the famous Grimm Fairy Tales, let me tell you. This includes more than 200 stories in here, so a lot of reading to do. This includes Little Red Riding Hood, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Cinderella, Hansel and Gretel, Rapunzel, Rumpelstiltskin, Tom Thumb, The Frog Prince, and many, many more. There are so many stories jam-packed in here, and I have been fascinated with the Grim Fairy Tales for a long time, so why I haven't picked them up, I don't know. I love the Disney princess movies and the Disney movies that, that takes on these fairy tales, but I also want to read the actual stories and the inspiration for those. The next book I got is very similar to the last book and this is The Best Love Stories by Hans Christian Andersen. This is another fairy tale stories. I love fairy tales. I really do and I really am happy to read these. I wish I had found a complete works of Hans Christian Andersen. I think that would have been amazing but I found you know a shorter version. This includes Thumbelina, The Nightingale, The Bell, The Snow Queen. And the last book I got for the month is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This is another one of the classics that I picked up because I really want to read more classics. This story is about when Jane takes 
a position as governess for an eight-year-old child at Thornfield Hall. There she meets the owner, Edward Rochester, and everything she knows is tested. There we go. That's all 17 books I got in the month of August. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books or what you think of them. Let me know of any classics that you think I should pick up or other books that you think I should pick up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the bookish content that I put out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!